I realize this video is probably going to trigger a lot of people because it is a controversial idea, but the reality is the decisions that you make uh, can affect your lifetime and your wealth greatly. So in this video, I'm going to explain why I personally think it's a bad idea to overpay your mortgage. So let's get started. Welcome everybody, Michael Taylor here with the Shifting Shares channel here on YouTube. Just want to say a big thank you for tuning in today. Please don't forget to hit the red button and subscribe and this way you won't miss out on any future videos. Those of you who don't know me, I'm a full-time trader of my own private capital in the UK stock market and in this channel we're going to be covering everything trading UK stocks and some opportunities to make some money as well. So before we get started on this video, I just want to say I am not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give financial advice and I'm just a guy who trades my own money in the market in UK stocks. Um, I'm not even qualified to do that, um, but I do it anyway. Um, but yes, if you have any questions about your own financial situation, please do speak. To someone regulated to give you advice because I cannot do that and this is not advice. So it is generally accepted that overpaying your mortgage is a good investment and I don't actually disagree with this, it is and for example if you have an interest rate of 2% and you're overpaying your mortgage you are actually going to save the 2% over time guaranteed. So it is one of the risk-free investments that you can actually ever make overpaying your mortgage if we overlook the risk that you are paying too much per month and then you need money for something else there's a risk there there's always risk in every trade uh, but in terms of guaranteed returns overpaying your mortgage is is definitely one of the few ones out there the issue is though that stock markets generally over time average seven to nine percent return um, so people who are overpaying their mortgage, yes, they're saving 2% of interest. However, that money could be invested into the stock market, generating returns for however long that the mortgage will run. So for me personally, what I would rather do is instead of overpaying my mortgage, I would put that money into a low cost passive tracker fund. And this is something that Warren Buffett says most people should do rather than buy individual stocks. And if Warren Buffett is saying it, and it's probably a good idea to listen to him because he's far richer than I am. Um, he's probably far richer than you are, so he must have done a few good things in his life. And one of the reasons that he says to invest in tracker funds is because if you pick something like the, the S&P 500, you are diversified across 500 stocks. Uh, they do hold different weightings in the index so you are allocated a weighting similar to those but you get exposure to 500 stocks so you're diversified in that sense and if you pick a, a passive tracker you aren't paying active management fees to anyone um, and this is an industry where most people will charge high fees but then they don't actually beat the market that is supposed to be beating so you are in a sense wasting your money. And this is what Warren Buffett found when he made a bet uh, with some chap whose name escapes me, but I'm sure is still very important nonetheless, uh, so it's my fault. Um, but he made a bet with this guy that um, the S&P 500 would beat a mix of, of actively managed hedge funds over a 10-year period. And in year nine, the other chap uh, conceded because the S&P 500 had far bested uh, all of the other funds that the that were picked by this other guy. So the S&P 500, uh, yes, it's a good index. Is it the best index? I'm not an index investor, so I'm not entirely sure. However, if I was going to overpay my mortgage, what I would rather do is put that money into the stock market, let it compound over time, let those companies and all of their employees work for me because I believe that that would be a much better investment than just getting the saving the one two percent on the interest now obviously the stock market is not guaranteed returns it has mainly returned over longer term periods of time but is it guaranteed no uh, does it come with risk yes 
let's say in a couple of years, if you want to move house and that money that you've been putting into the stock market, you now need, but there's a crash. So the money that you get is actually a lot less than what you put in. Um, there is a risk. So if you are going to do this and um, do think long term, uh, make sure you don't need the money today because if you need that money at any time, it could be a problem. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this topic because it is a controversial one. Um, if you do want to send me hate mail, um, I, I would rather you didn't, but uh, you know, please leave that in the comments as well. Uh, just remember again, please, I'm not a financial advisor, so this isn't advice. Uh, do consult someone who can legally do that for you if you have any questions. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And see you in the next one.